To study the shoulder, we start from the landmark of the acromioclavicular joint, which you can identify and touch by hand. So this is an important landmark. We position the probe and show the acromioclavicular joint with its capsular insertions on the side of the clavicle and on the side of the acromion. And we can see the joint space with the synovial tissue. We then move distally. As we move distally, we see the end of the acromion and the beginning of the rotator cuff. Here we see the supraspinatus tendon with its insertion on the anterior facet of the greater tuberosity. It is separated from the deltoid by the subdeltoid bursa. We can see the insertion of the deltoid on the acromion. At this point, I rotate the probe and move in an anterior direction to the end of the supraspinatus tendon and I meet the long head of the biceps in its intra-articular portion.